Welcome back to Security Academy. Today we are going to be talking about signature-based detection. Signature-based detection is one of the algorithms that antivirus software uses to detect threats. And the way it works is that a threat will enter the system and the system will create a profile or a signature of this threat. And a signature is just patterns of code that show up in threats. And, they, and the system will use this for future reference. So let's say we have three threats, A, B, and C, and let's say threat A deletes files off your system. And a system in this uh, scenario can just be a laptop, for example. Uh, so threat A will enter the system, and the system will want to compare this threat here with previously known signatures. So in this case, there's no known signatures, so threat A won't be compared with anything, and it will be able to run its code and successfully delete files off your system. But the system will think this is bad and realize that threat A is actually something malicious and it will create a signature of this threat. So let's say an attacker uses threat A again. Threat A will enter the system and the system will again compare uh, this threat A with previously known signatures. This time A will be compared with A and the system will realize that, hey, this is something we have seen before, so let's quarantine it because we know that this is malicious code. And now this threat will not be able to execute its code. Again, if, if an attacker decides to use a new attack, let's say attack B or threat B, the system will compare this with previously known signatures, so B will be compared with A. These two are different, and so since this is something we haven't seen before. It's likely that it's not malicious. So this threat B will be able to execute its code and potentially harm your system. Again, the system will realize that this is bad and that threat B is malicious. So it will create a profile or signature of this threat and add it to its list of known signatures. So again, if threat B were to be used again, threat B will be implemented into the system. Uh, the system will compare this threat with previously known signatures. So B will be compared with A and they're different. B will be compared with B and they're the same. The system will realize that this is something we have seen before and that this threat B is malicious so it will quarantine it. And so threat B will not be able to run its code. So if an attacker uses attack C Again, the system will uh, compare this with previously known signatures. So C will be compared with A, they are different. C will be compared with B, they are different. So C will be able to successfully execute its malicious code. Again, the system will realize that this is something bad and it will create a signature of this threat. So if threat C were to be implemented again, it will be compared with its list of known signatures. So C against A, they are different. C against B, they are different. C against C, they are the same. So this is something the system has seen before and it knows, and it knows it's malicious. So it will quarantine this threat and it won't be able to run its code. So one thing an attacker can do is that if an attacker knows that your system is using signature-based detection, uh, the attacker can change the way in a, a threat looks like. So for example, if an attacker wants to use threat A, but it knows your system is using signature-based detection, it can change the way threat A looks like. So for example, it could change it into a lowercase a here. Uh, so lowercase a still deletes files off your system, but this time when the attacker uses uh, this threat, lowercase a, it will enter the system the system will compare this threat against previously known signatures. So lowercase a against uppercase a, they are different. Lowercase a against uppercase b, they are different. Lowercase a against uppercase c, they are different. So lowercase a will execute its code and delete files off your system. Again, the system will realize that this is bad and add it to its list of known signatures. So in summary, Signature-based detection is reactive in that a threat first needs to enter your system in order for you to create a signature of it. 
Uh, however, this is still a good technique to use against common threats. So for example, if you have a signature of threat A and a lot of attackers use threat A, you will be able to stop all of these types of threats because you already know what these threats look like. So you can easily just quarantine it and prevent the code from running. Uh, so the process of signature-based detection is that a threat will enter your system and your system will detect it. And if it's something that they haven't seen before, uh, the system will create a profile or a signature of this threat and add it to its list of known signatures. And it will, and your system will look for this type of signature for future references uh, to compare against potential threats.